Hello friends, children's author Diana Del Russo here with another Wednesday writing tip for you. Today is tip number four with a overview of a seven step writing process. So I'm excited to have you come back. Thank you so much for following along on this journey. Uh, for those of you who are here for the first time, thank you for checking us out and stopping in. Um, I want to remind you to hit the red subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Uh, also, there, please check out all the other videos on this channel. There are family fun videos that you can watch with the kids. There's uh, animals, dogs, um, puppies, kids, train videos. So please look around. There's also some trailers for my children's books that I have published. Uh, my children's books are all available on my website as well as um, through Barnes & Noble, Amazon, any of your favorite bookstores online. So please check those out. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to discuss um, seven great overview tips for writing a children's book. Writing tip four, seven step writing process. Seven steps to review in the writing process of a children's book. Number one, ideas. So you've gathered your ideas, you sorted through them, chose one or two to develop. Secondly, characters. You created a character or two. You carefully developed them to be interesting and able to tell or carry the story. Note at this point, you would want to know who your audience will be for this story. What age group or reading level are you targeting? Number three. Illustrations. At this point, you would want to decide if this story needs any il illustrations. If so, how many? Will they be in color or black and white? Will you create them yourself or find an illustrator to work with? Note at this point, you would want to make these decisions and arrangements with an illustrator if needed. Number four, the story. You created your first rough draft of the story. You carefully go through it to edit, maybe add more depth, interest, and excitement to it. You created the perfect ending. Number five, now what? You read it out loud a few more times to listen for places that need smoothing out or adjusting words or changing sentences. You read it to others, maybe adults, but hopefully to a child or children that fit your audience level. You gather some feedback and possibly go back and make changes to a character or a storyline or maybe the ending. Note at this point, if you haven't yet, you want to have your illustrations complete and in place with the text pages. Note also, once you love it, all put together and you feel that it's done, find a professional editor or someone qualified to do a final edit for things like grammar, punctuation, and spelling. Number six, your final manuscript. You have cleaned it up, cleaned up the manuscript from your editor's notes. You decide what you want to do with this story Think about who you want to share it with. Only family and close friends? Or the public? Children in schools? Note, sometimes as you create the story and your characters, and you decide, or, I'm sorry, sometimes as you create the story and characters, and you decide or discover what message you want to tell, this helps you know who you want to share your final work with. And number seven, a story or a book. Only you can decide if you want to turn your story into a book. Once you start thinking about publishing, you may want to research the different options. Note, there are many options available. Some cost more money than others, so you'd want to do your research carefully. 
Also note, it takes marketing and promoting to sell books. So remember to also research those options as well so that you can create a budget ahead of time and be prepared. Whatever direction you take with your writing, I do wish you joy and self-fulfillment and very much success. Publishing isn't for everyone. You decide. And good luck. So that's it. There you have it. That was our seven tips on uh, writing a children's book. Kind of an overview for you. Um, remember to do the research we talked about. If anybody would like a copy of the notes, please put that in the comments below and I'd be happy to email you a copy of my notes. If you're like me, it's good to have, it's helpful to have some notes around. Um, also, if there's a topic you want to discuss, please remember to put that in the comments below as well. If you haven't yet subscribed, please remember to hit the red button and subscribe. If you liked the writing tips this week, please give me a thumbs up and click that like button. And uh, also tell your friends about my channel and pass it on. I greatly appreciate it. You can follow me as well on other platforms. I am on social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course here on YouTube. And don't forget to check out my website. It's www dianadelrusso.com so I hope you'll check in there as well there's a lot of great pictures to look at from past years and events and uh, some of the different things I've done with some of the local students so thanks again for watching I hope you'll come back next time and we'll see you later